am Deborah Cooper, and you are in the Arts Barn, which is just outside of historic Oregsburg. It is an art gallery that started with six artists and one gallery and has progressed to where we now have two full galleries and over a hundred artisans, all from Pennsylvania. The Arts Barn carries many, many different types of art and it varies all the time, but we have at least four different woodworkers, everything from churned bowls, Jonathan spoons, chainsaw carvings, salt and pepper mills. We also have about six different types of glass, stained glass, glass mosaic, fused glass. We have all different kinds of handcrafts from sewing, crocheting, knitting, weaving. We have photographs of all different subjects. We have many different types of paintings, charcoal, pencil, acrylic, oil. We carry jewelry of all kinds. We have leather work. We have metal sculpture as well as the wooden sculptures. We do have some antiques. Uh, we have soft sculpture animals. We do carry a, a small array of things for younger children. We have handmade soaps. We have handmade candles. Again, all made in Pennsylvania. We're very, very proud of that fact. Every tree has ornaments this year, all that are handmade by our artisans. We have many different types of pottery. We have a new artist who does redware pottery. Each, each artist that comes in here brings their own unique touch to the gallery. We do not duplicate any art that another artist is already doing. We think each artist needs to have a fair shake at selling their work and having it be seen. We have two festivals a year, which we held outside, and we have use of the countryside out here. We have a huge riding ring, and we add about 50 new vendors outside. We have live music. We have a lot of kids' activities. We encourage kids to come and do all kinds of hands-on activities. We had making your own scarecrow, making your own flower pots, doing paintings. Um, we have wonderful food vendors, so our outside activities are great. A lot of our artists are outside demonstrating. The chainsaw carver is always here carving. Um, and a lot of the other wood turners are working. Our metal sculptress was working. So the festivals are a great opportunity to see artists at work and see lots of other vendors here. We also have added classes and workshops, and those have been extremely successful. We have basket making, and we have baskets in the gallery. That's what I forgot. We have basket making, soap making, silk scarves, stained glass. We hope to add a lot more next year. We had ornament and angel making this year. The stained glass was very popular. We did Moravian Stars if it was a one-time workshop, and then we had people sign up for a four or five session workshop and make glass panels of their choice and their design. We are actually going to be adding a classroom, we hope, in the near future so that we can have more room and more time to do classes and still keep the gallery open the way we want to. The gallery was set up for anyone to come in and appreciate the art. There are always refreshments on, in the winter the fire is on, in the summer the horses are out there and you can sit outside, but we want people to appreciate the art and the talent in this, in this area and support these artists. We are also a great meeting place for the artists themselves. They come and they share ideas and they inspire each other and they collaborate and that's another project that we're working on which is a collaborative art show in the spring which will have pieces of art that involve at least two but probably three or four artists input on these absolutely one-of-a-kind pieces. We also rent this room out for meetings um, both morning, evening, afternoon, we can accommodate about 30 people in here, and that's been used quite a bit. We also have expanded hours and an expanded staff. It takes a village to raise a child. It's taking a village to grow this gallery, and we have a lot of hands-on help from people all around and appreciate every bit of it.